This is Sunset. She's my 94 Civic EG. She has a number of modifications, all of which are courtesy of her previous owner. She has crystal headlamps, amber corner lights, <clears throat> and fog lights. She has a chin, she has side skirts, <clears throat> she's painted in a <clears throat> very striking orange color. What's <clears throat> wrong with my throat? She has 16 inch wheels with brand new tires. <clears throat> she has rain covers. <clears throat> The trunk, the trunk has been modified, now flush against the daylight. She is in pretty good shape, no major dents. Clear coat is still good, still shiny. Like I said, the tires are still new. This is a T15B VTEC engine, a single overhead cam, fuel injected, of course. VTEC E is the more economical version of the T15B. It's extremely fuel efficient. It can do 14 to 18 kilometers per liter. It has a number of other upgrades. It has a smooth air filter. It has a strut bar. Has a scav exhaust. Car has lower edge springs on all four corners. So it should perform a little bit better than your stock Civic. The engine is the engine base in pretty good shape. No major rust issues. Okay, so this is my Civic Centurion. It's pretty basic here. I have manual windows, power steering, centerized bottom that has indigo gauges, has an aftermarket chronometer with the light that tells you when to shift, has a pioneer head unit, open works, and most importantly it has a manual transmission. It also has leather seat covers. And that's it. Okay, so I did about 100 kph, which is within the legal limit along this road. But I did it in how many seconds? Maybe less than 8, I don't know, perhaps. Whew, that was fun. I didn't start from zero though. EG and the EK Civics. Cemented Honda's reputation as the brand of choice for boy racers in the 90s until the mid 2000s. Even now, they're still widely represented in the tuning scene. They're also some of the most loved and most hated cars. The EG and the EK offer good performance at a low price, <clears throat> and they're easily tunable. They also look pretty good and 
exploit you further time. Until now, it's easy, especially the hatchbacks, still look desirable. This is the third Civic EG that I've had. Not the fastest car that I've owned, but it's a joy to drive and the fuel economy is very good. For a car that was initially designed as a small economy car, the Civic EG attained an unexpected cult following among younger tuners on a budget. It even appeared on Fast and the Furious, probably the only economy car to be featured in the movie franchise. None of the succeeding Civics ever attained the same level of popularity in the tuning scene.